Hello everyone. Welcome to Manage Galera Cluster with Puppet. My name is Krishna. In this webinar, I will be talking about how to manage Galera Cluster with Puppet. At the end of the webinar, we will be having question and answer session. If you want to follow up, you can use the link below uh, at the bottom of this uh, presentation. Uh, let me... Okay. Okay. So it's uh, visible now. So at the bottom of this presentation, you can find a link. From that, you can uh, copy it down and uh, have it this uh, slide with you. Okay. Uh, hello, guys. Can you hear me properly? Hello, Ashish. Aki, okay. can you hear me? Yes. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, going ahead, uh, I'm going to present Manage Gallery Cluster with Puppet. So, I'm uh, moving to the next slide. So, it's uh, about me. Uh, my name is Krishna Prajapati. I'm working as a MySQL engineer at Olin Data and uh, exploring other technologies. We provide open source training and consulting in the technologies like Puppet, Node.js, Linux, and MySQL, and uh, uh, on LAMP related technologies. Okay, I'm moving to the next slide. Uh, I have uh, okay so there is a request from somebody to paste the link into the chat section uh, let me do that now uh, another question I have that uh, a person want to see it on Linux uh, which is not possible uh, I believe he has to reboot into Windows uh, that is from Nikolai. Okay, let me paste the URL first of all. Hello guys, what I will do at the end of the webinar, I will give the links to you uh, into the chat section. Right now, I will uh, start up with the, continue the webinar. So, uh, overview. I will give a short description about Puppet. You should have basic Puppet knowledge in order to understand the webinar. In the next slide, I have added few links which can guide you to set up Puppet. Uh, let me show you those links. 
So here are the links. Both the links is from Olin Data. You can pop it down and uh, take a look about how to set up Puppet in uh, Puppet Master and Agent setup. I'm going back. Uh, what is Puppet? Puppet is a configuration management software based on Ruby. It is designed to help system administrators to make to automate many repetitive tasks they perform regularly. It defines and enforces the state of your infrastructure throughout the software development cycle. It ensures consistency across your infrastructure. It scales very well from one server to 200k servers. Uh, there is a serving which is a nuclear facility they are using 200k servers, Puppet servers. It's uh, open source. The average Puppet enterprise installation seen from 300 servers to 600 servers. It supports multi-platform environment, Windows, Linux, Flavor, Mac, BSD, Solaris. With the strength of multi-platform, it is widely used and adopted. Puppet is open source product and is also available as commercial offering from Puppet Labs as a Puppet Enterprise. So this was a brief about Puppet. Uh, the other topics are uh, what is Galera Cluster. Going ahead I will be talking about few terminologies for the Galera Cluster. Uh, I have to just pasted up a block diagram of Galera Cluster. There I will illustrate how the Galera Cluster works. It's a block diagram and uh, after that uh, what are the important MySQL parameters for Galera and later on I will be showing you how to install Galera using Puppet and uh, there is a tool called HAProxy. It, is, uh, it stands in front of a Galera cluster which works as a load balancer for distribution the request among Galera nodes. WSRVP, this is the working status of the uh, MySQL variables. It shows the status, what is the status of the cluster, Galera cluster and at the end there will be some question and answer sessions. Uh, I'm moving to the next slide. Here we have uh, the two links available for you. You can just uh, open it up and uh, see if you want to install Puppet Master Agent Setup. It can help you if you are not familiar with Puppet. So these things I have already discussed. Uh, the last is uh, infrastructure as a code. What happened that uh, all the code for the whole infrastructure is uh, set up into the master environment. So that's why this, it is uh, called as infrastructure as code. I'm moving to the next slide. Uh, everybody feel free to raise your hands or you can put up your questions into the chat section. Uh, uh, whenever I will get a chance I will take a look and uh, uh, reply your answers, give us uh, answers to your questions. So going ahead, what is Galera Cluster? Galera Cluster is a synchronous multi-master database cluster based on synchronous replication. When Galera cluster is in use, you can direct read and write to any of the node and you can lose any individual node without interruption in operations and without the need to handle complex failover procedures. At a high level, Galera cluster consists of database server that is MySQL, MariaDB or Percona ExtraDB that uses Galera replication plugin to manage replication. To be more specific, the MySQL replication plugin API 
has been extended to provide the information and hooks required for true multi-master synchronous replication. This extended API is called WS REP API or even in other words it can be called as right set replication API. So in the previous slide you have seen a word called WS okay so WS REP uh, in other words it's it, it's known as right set replication. Though the WS REP REP API Galera cluster provides certification based replication. A transaction for replication, the right set not only contains the database rows to replicate but also includes information on all the logs that were held by the database during the transaction. Each node then certifies the replicated right set against the other right sets in the applier queue. The right set is then applied if there are no conflicting logs. At this point, the transaction is considered committed after which each node continues to apply to its stable space. This approach is called virtually synchronous replication given that while it is logically synchronous on each node. So Galera Cluster is a fully open source software. We can take or if anybody is interested, we can take the support service from uh, Galera that uh, the name of the company is Codership. You can avail the support of, uh, facility from there. It is supported on uh, Unix platform mostly and uh, all the three flavors for, uh, of MySQL that is Porcona, MariaDB and MySQL. Uh, Galera can be, can be implemented with these MySQL servers. Uh, let me show you over here. So uh, this is the actual company GaleraCluster.com. Previously it was called as Codership. They changed the name. So this is company behind the Galera which is providing all the supports for uh, Galera clusters. So from here you can download the Galera for yourself. Okay and uh, here you get a very nice documentation also on this website. So continuing with the presentation I am uh, Moving to the next slide, Galera also provides a high availability solution for uh, MySQL. So uh, in this slide I will be talking about terminologies about uh, uh, which is being used in Galera. Galera is, a, uh, is based on synchronous replication. So I will be just talking about what is synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous replication use the approach of uh, eco replication. Uh, in other words, you can say as online replication. No, uh, whenever any transaction is executed, uh, the moment it is executed, the result sets it's available on all or each of the node of Galera cluster. So there is a not a wait time. So nothing like that. So this is called a uh, synchronous replication. Uh, in other words, when a transaction commits, all nodes have the same value. It's known as synchronous. Whereas asynchronous replication is a lazy replication. You can understand that there will be a short lag between the master and the slave or the other servers. So that is uh, called as a uh, asynchronous replication. It is not uh, online. First the transaction is executed on the master, it's committed, then it moves to the other servers and there again it's got committed. In this way the data gets replicated from one server to another and that uh, replication is called as asynchronous replication. 
so the next is the failover uh, failover actually means when one server is not working then the whole thing is failover to the another server but here in in case of Galera cluster it's not like that uh, here the failover doesn't happen what happened here is all the Galera nodes have all the data exact data on each of the server so whenever any server gets any problem that is expelled out of the cluster and the remaining servers keep on serving the client request so failover doesn't happen in Galera cluster split brain uh, split brain by design Galera cluster avoid split brain conditions cluster failure that result in database operation nodes operating autonomous of each other are called split brain conditions so uh, split brain is uh, just a situation to uh, which can be avoided using Galera clusters the other terminology is uh, GTID uh, GTID is a global transaction ID so uh, a global transaction is a, U, is a combination of UUID followed by a sequence number uh, UUID is called as a universal unique identifier that is followed by a sequence number so this uh, this uh, GTID this is, this is known as GTID this GTID is always going to be unique either if you execute the same time on the same server anyhow every time it will be always a different value okay I am uh, moving over to the next slide so here uh, uh, I have shown you the block diagram of the Galera cluster so uh, the request will be coming from the internet and uh, whatever the requests are coming that will be distributed by some load balancing mechanism either by DNS, HTTP or redirects so here we can have the web load, uh, uh, load balancers for the web request after that when these web requests goes to the HTTP server from their HTTP server it goes to the application server so application server can directly connect to the Galera cluster the DBMS servers uh, also if we want we can have a load balancer in front of the Galera cluster so between the application server and this DBMS server we can have a load balancer uh, there are many load balancers available uh, like uh, HAProxy, PEN and uh, there is uh, one more load balancer which is available from uh, Galera itself so uh, any of the load balancer can be used for uh, diverting the request from application server to the database server and uh, at the bottom of this you can see Galera replication whenever any request comes on any of the servers that is uh, committed on all the servers together only then it is committed so uh, if anybody have any problem in understanding or any issues there they can raise up a question raise up your hands or uh, uh, give up the questions into the chat sections I will answer it I'm uh, going to the next slide uh, these are the Galera features which I will be talking about so the one of the first uh, features is the true multi master so uh, at any time you can write any of the node without any problem or any blocking issue every node is available free for read and write operations at any time that's why it is called as true multi master application 
Synchronous replication. Uh, already I have uh, explained this terminology, synchronous replication, in the previous slides. So here we have a few more lines. So synchronous replication, there is no slave lag. The data is not lost and it's an online operation. The, uh, the transaction is committed on all nodes at the same time. Next feature is tightly coupled. All nodes hold the same state. So no diverse data between nodes is allowed. So uh, this means that each and every node of the Galera cluster have the same data. And uh, there will not be any small difference between the data on any of the node. Even if that happens, Galera node will explain, expel out of the cluster and then it can be then it can automatically sync with the other servers to get a new copy of the data and make itself similar to the other nodes multi-threaded slave for a better performance or for a huge workload multi-threaded slave feature is there so whenever any whenever any uh, uh, you want to set up a slave to the Galera cluster you, uh, in that case this feature is going to be very useful so there will not be any lag and it will be uh, since there are multi-threaded slaves going ahead to the next slide no master slave failover operations or whips. So here in case of Galera clusters, there is no failover kind of things, neither whips is used. So here uh, whenever a server fails or any server is having any problem, that is expelled out of the cluster. So later you can take a look and fix it up. Hot standby. So no downtime down down during the failure since it's not a failover. The server which is having a problem will be expelled out of the cluster and the remaining server will work as operations without any issues. Going on uh, over the next feature, automatic node provisioning. So uh, whenever uh, there is uh, any issue to the data integrity on any of the node, so you don't have to do anything manually. Uh, it is a, a automatic operation and the node itself will do all the operation. It will copy data from other node to the problematic node and make itself similar to the other node. So it's an automatic node provisioning. So this Galera cluster only supports the InnoDB storage engine. So you should not use any other storage engine like MyISM with this Galera cluster. Transparent to our application required no or no change uh, even if there is a change in uh, required no changes to the application no read write splitting so you can uh, add Galera cluster to your application either you should the best way is to have a load balancer in front of the Galera cluster and then that will do the splitting up of the request of application to the Galera database. So here I have a question, let me check it. So Jason is requesting that uh, can we have a recorded session to our mail? So yeah, uh, after recording we will upload it to Google YouTube and uh, from there you can have it. So uh, going ahead I'm moving to the next slide. So uh, these are the important MySQL parameters for Galera and these are mandatory parameters that should be taken care of. Already this Galera cluster takes care of uh, these uh, MySQL parameters but if you are setting up without 
puppet then you have to take care of uh, these parameters uh, manually as uh, this gallery is being set up using puppet so puppet takes care of all these parameters automatically it has been encoded into the puppet repository so the first parameter is uh, bin lock so my gallery cluster supports uh, uh, row bin lock format feature uh, already I have discussed that uh, uh, Galera supports only the InnoDB storage engine therefore it has uh, uh, the default storage engine has been made to InnoDB and uh, InnoDB automatic lock mode is equal to 2 in order to avoid issues with bulk mode inserts and uh, the other uh, uh, other variable is InnoDB lock on C for bin lock so this is most for, uh, for a parallel appliance uh, query cache is not supported in Galera cluster that's why we have uh, made the value as zero query cache type, size and query cache type and in most of the default uh, operate, uh, default MySQL installations or Galera installations it can be that uh, the bind address is to the local host 127.0.0.1 so you should change it to bind address to 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. I'm moving to the next slide. So here we have puppet modules for Galera. Let me show you. So uh, this is the Galera module which can be used for installing Galera cluster so and uh, at the bottom there is a readme file which can help you to understand what you have to write or it can give you a brief information about how to write the code and other things you can take a look the link is uh, provided into the web presentation and uh, the next link is this uh, demo link so uh, uh, we uh, all in data have already created a demo of the Galera cluster here we have all the files and everything so you can download and use this for your own evaluation and uh, for further understanding of the Galera cluster so with this it is a fully made all the things are here so it can be set up easily with this all in data galera puppet demo you can use this for your evaluation purpose uh, the third uh, link is the HA proxy which I talked about in front of the Galera cluster you should have some kind of load balancer, database load balancer, TCP load balancer so one of the load balancer is the HA proxy so this uh, puppet module can be used for distributing the applications request to the database already this HA proxy has been used uh, in this demo presentation which you can use it I'm moving on to the next slide so here is the actual code puppet code uh, which uh, I will discuss with you so uh, from the first line class profile my scale base so so we have a uh, we are using the roles and profile features of uh, puppet so that's why we have used a class called profile here we have all the codes how what uh, what will be done so we here we have include mysql client so what this will do this will install the mysql client for galera and uh, let's take a look over here and here in the we have a class called mysql colon colon server so what this will do this will install the mysql galera cluster even you have an option okay 
So uh, even you have an option if you want to install Porcona extra DB cluster or Maria DB plus Galera cluster you have an option to do that using the package name. Uh, it's on the next slide here. Here at the bottom here we have uh, we have given what kind of package you want to install. Uh, the, the Galera cluster is available through Percona that is called as Percona Extra DB cluster and it is also available as through MariaDB that is called as a MariaDB Galera cluster. So even just you have to simply change this name and uh, the requisite either Percona or Galera cluster can be installed. Above this we have uh, included packages. So the first one is the Percona toolkit. So this will install the Percona toolkit. Those are very beautiful nice uh, tools which can make your data, uh, database management very very easy. So you should have a look and uh, uh, those are very pretty nice tools you can use for. The other thing is the extra backup. So extra backup is a tool for taking the MySQL backup. So extra backup is a hot backup tool. So during the backup activity you don't have to shut down or stop the database. It is a, it can be done online without any without blocking the reads and write operations on the database. So this will make sure that your extra backup is the latest version. So here we have given the ensure latest. So this will make sure that it is always the latest extra backup is installed into the in your servers. Okay, let me show this part to you. So this is the demo presentation. Here are the packages name. So here are the packages I have selected. So you can use either Percona or MariaDB as for your requirement. Here I am using Percona extra DB cluster. So this will install Percona. If I put here MariaDB cluster, Galera cluster, it is going to install uh, MariaDB Galera cluster with this. Going back to the presentation. So I'm moving over to the next slide. Galera health check. So this profile is going to keep the health check codes over here. So uh, all here include profile MySQL base. It's the previous profile which we have created. Let me show you. It's this one class profile MySQL base and uh, here we have uh, included Galera. For, uh, this is going to do the Galera health check. In the health checks what it actually does is that uh, each server is keep is being checked after, uh, uh, after a small interval of time that the MySQL is alive on that server and it is responding pretty well. In case if it is not responding then that server will be expelled out of the cluster and the remaining servers will keep the things operational and active. So this is the health check so that each node is being checked that it is uh, in good and healthy conditions. Next slide. So uh, even if you want to check the do the health check manually here is the command. If you uh, if you execute a command cluster check, it will give you this type of output as to be one hundred OK. And uh, the actual message here will be at the bottom that MySQL is running. This let the Galera cluster know that each and every server is active and running. So this health check is uh, very important, so that each node uh, understand that it is in good health conditions. 
I am moving over to the next slide. This is the HA proxy module. Uh, just in the previous slides, I talked about, uh, here it is. Yeah, I talked about HA proxy. HA proxy is a TCP and HTTP load balancer. Since it's a TCP load balancer, it can be used for the, uh, uh, it can be used for diverting the application request to the database servers. So this can be used. I'm uh, going over to the next slide. Uh, these are the roles. So those are the profiles which are kept separated and uh, roles uh, you can understand it's uh, all the things are grouped into a roles kind of thing. This is the features of uh, Puppet roles and profiles. So here we have two roles. First roles is for the Galera and another role is for the HA proxy. So HA proxy will be distributing the uh, request between all the Galera nodes. Moving to next slide. Okay, let me check. So, uh, in the previous uh, slides, I talked about WSRAP. So, WSRAP actually means that write set replication. So, this is the short form, WSRAP. So, this gives the running status of the Galera cluster. So, here are the variables. So, let me discuss few of the important uh, WSRP parameters. So the first one is the WSRP local state UID. So, so this gives the local status. This is UUID. I have already discussed that UUID is universal unique identifier. So this is going to be always different on its servers. The next is the WSRP state comment. So it's showing as sync. Sync means or sync means this node is synced with the remaining node and it's on the same as remaining uh, Galera nodes. The other incoming or connected server into the cluster is here you can see ws underscore incoming underscore addresses. So here I you can find one, two, three. Three IP address with the port of 3306. These are our uh, uh, Galera nodes connected to each other. Moving over to the next slide. So the, these are all the nodes connected to Galera servers. Uh, the other, uh, the other important is the WSRP Eve states. It's showing as operational, and uh, here you can see the replication latency. It's zero, so it's a, uh, it's pretty good if it is zero so that all the nodes are in sync with each other. So there is not even a microseconds of delay. And this is good. So WS underscore cluster size. This will give you the size of the Galera cluster. Here we have uh, the size of the Galera cluster is 3. That's why it's showing us 3. And uh, this server is acting as a primary Galera cluster. So the WSRP cluster status is shown as primary and it is connected and on. And at the bottom you can uh, give some uh, other details about the Galera cluster. So here the provided name is Galera. I told you it is uh, available from a company called Kodoshep. So here is the name of the Kodoshep. 
and the WSRP provided version. So this is very really important. So all the notes of the Galera should be on the same version. Now minor difference in the version can cause uh, some problem for the Galera cluster to operate. So here we are done with the WSRP important parameter and going ahead over to the next slide. So this is the final manifest site.pp file. So this will, uh, here you can see that node master.olinda data node. So node uh, you can understand as these are the server names. So the first one is for the making as a puppet master that will be basically for puppet. The second node galera.00.olinda.vm this will be acting as a load balancer. Here we are using HA proxy load balancer for the Galera cluster and the third is here you have used a regex expression so you can see three into the braces so there are three Galera nodes which will be connected by this load balancer Galera 000.olinda.vm so, so that role has been included into the Galera nodes include role db dot db galera anybody have any questions you can put up over here feel free to ask any questions or raise your hands I'm going to the next slide so here in this slide again it's the same thing uh, you can mention the package underscore name as a Moria DB server or Orkona Extra DB server based on this package name that Galera cluster will be installed. It can be Moria DB Galera cluster or Orkona Extra DB Galera cluster. We have to just uh, give the proper package name what you want to make install. I'm moving to the next slide. So with this we are at the end of this presentation. We have some upcoming trainings for Puppet in Manila, Hyderabad, Jakarta and Vienna. Whoever is interested they can attend the upcoming training. So here we have uh, previous webinars. Let me show you. So here in front of your screen, screen, these are the previous webinars which we have conducted. So if anybody is interested into the previous webinar, here we have, it's the webinar is set up MySQL using Puppet. You can have an idea with this how to set up MySQL using Puppet. Then we have introductions to MySQL replication. Here we are talking about what are the types of replications available with the MySQL. Later, node.js, introduction to JavaScript testing. So these are all the webinars taken by our company. So feel free to have a look and uh, have fun and learn with learning. Okay, next is uh, we are hiring US and Asia based trainers. And uh, here is my email ID. Uh, anyone, everyone feel free to contact me for any type of query or if you have any questions or answers or whatever you have, you can just give me, uh, write up an email to me. Uh, I will reply your email. So uh, I'm done with this webinar and uh, I'm open to answer your questions. So feel free to ask either into the chat section or into the hand raise. Let me know.
Anybody? Walter, are you there? I am here indeed. Um, I cannot see if anyone else has questions, but... Um. Yeah, even I can't see. They are just... Uh, one of the guys looking for the recordings of the webinar. Okay. Well, we'll send those over uh, uh, as soon as the webinar is over. You can upload the recording to, to YouTube. Yeah, sure. So, no question at uh, this point of time till now. Neither any hand raise. I'll just uh, wait for a few more minutes. If anybody is interested, you can ask any questions if you want. Okay, here I have a question from D Manager Delic. Any info on max scale upon tungsten scale proxy? Uh, well, this proxy I'm not aware of. Uh, the proxy which is available for uh, Galera cluster is uh, either you can use a uh, HA proxy or PEN, and uh, there is uh, one more. Uh, Proxy available from uh, Coder Ship Galera itself. Any other question apart from this ones? Uh, let me dementia Delic. Hello, Delic. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah. Anything else apart from these questions? Uh, no, that's all. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, we have a few more minutes before I can end this webinar. Okay, so with this, thank you everybody and I'm uh, ending this webinar. Thank you once again, all of you.